This is the Pound for Pound Boxing Show in association with Dirty South. I'm here, Jermaine, with Cash Farouk. How you doing, champ? I'm good, I'm good. I'm saying all right. Brilliant, brilliant, man. Finally got there. Thanks for coming on. Uh, it's an absolute pleasure having you on, mate. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. Thanks very much. Brilliant, brilliant. Cash, obviously, I, I want to ask you a uh, first question. How's, how's camp been for this fight? Yeah, it's been good, you know. It's been same old, you know. I've been, I've been training since... Since to be honest, December, you know, well, since my last fight, I took a few days off and I was back in the gym. You know, there's no Christmas, no New Year's, no birthdays. So I've just been training since, so yeah, I've just, I've just been in the gym basically. Yeah, yeah, brilliant, brilliant. So you're, you're, you're a former British champion, uh, currently yeah. WBA Continental champion. How did you first get into boxing, and and who was your inspiration? I first got into boxing about 2010. That was about 11 or 11 years ago. And uh, my friend took me down to the gym, and I was, to be honest, I wasn't interested in boxing. And uh, took me down, I was like, oh, try, try, and we don't mean you try and train this for a while. And that was it, to be honest. He disappeared, and I, I kept at it. And uh, it took off. And uh, the guy who, was, who first started me off boxing, his name is uh, Rob, uh, Rob, Bobby McDermott. He was my inspiration. He was old, much older than me, but he's the guy who got me into boxing and how his life, you know, I mean, he was a former boxer himself, and he told me about life, this and that. And I stuck at it, you know what I mean? And that was it, to be honest, and uh, I made a career of it, so I... Brilliant, brilliant. Okay, so you're you're 14-1. You're, you're yeah. Uh, you, you, you only lost came to Lee McGregor yeah. uh, for the Commonwealth and British Commonwealth titles. Uh, obviously, it's a very close, uh, controversial decision. How disappointed were you with the judges for the scorecards that night? Yeah, and I was... Would you want a rematch as well, potentially, in the future? Yeah, I was really disappointed. You know, I mean, obviously, obviously, it was it was a it was a big stage. You know, I mean, it was my fight that was I was meant to come out. Obviously, this this is a big stage where I was meant to come out and obviously, you know, I mean, showcase my thing and you know, and obviously the way it went. You know, I mean, I wasn't happy, but it is what it is. You know, I mean, it's in the past and it's been over a year and a half now. So, but I'm moving on. And I, but luckily, I got signed by Eddie Hearn and obviously my career took off. You know, I mean, if I didn't, I'll be I'll be one of them small. I'll be back to small whole shows and to be honest. Obviously, where things have been last year, I wouldn't have been boxed. To be honest, I just would have been sent about. So I'm very, very lucky in the position I'm in, and I'll be able to get out. You know what I mean? Yeah, you touched up on it. Obviously, Eddie, Eddie Hearn signed you for Matchroom. How how big a bigger platform is it be to be fighting on Sky Sports? And obviously, obviously during COVID, Eddie's still being managing managing to put on these shows, these great shows during tough times. How uh, great is this to be boxing on this this uh, card coming up? Yeah, it's, it's, you know, I mean, I'm over the moon, obviously, boxing this card at the moment. It's just great being even being out around this time, you know, I mean, this pandemic. And, uh, you know, it's, it's always, as always, you know, probably does, Eddie Hunt is probably the biggest promoter in the world at the moment. The way he's playing, you know, I mean, he's, he's going to next levels. And obviously, me boxing, obviously, uh, under Matchman's wing is, you know, I mean, it's incredible. Some of the fighters have got, you know, I mean, pound for one best, you know, I mean, it's just incredible, you know, I mean, the opportunities I can get and, uh, you know, I mean, long as I keep winning, I keep performing, and I can get a lot of big opportunities. Brilliant, brilliant. I want to talk a bit about uh, the, the night you won uh, the British uh, Bantamweight Championship uh, with a KO win over Scott Allen. Uh, how happy was you to win win that title, and uh, how did you rate your performance at night? Um, well, I was, I was Jamie, it was Jamie Wilson, sorry, I knocked out in the first round. It was, it was a Scott Allen. Scott Allen, I won the Scottish title, but yeah, it was, yeah, I was over the moon, to be honest. And uh, yeah, to be honest, I thought it was gonna go 12 rounds because he he, he it was just a couple. I think it was one two fights before that he took Josh Will the full 12 rounds, and it was a close fight between him and Josh. A lot of people were saying he could have beat, he should have got the decision, but you know, I mean, and I got my opportunity with him, and uh, you know, I mean, I expected a 12 round round fight, but I went the first round, and you know, I mean, I come with a punch early and come cold, and that was it. To be honest, and uh, and that was I was British champion. Now. Yeah, it was a fantastic, fantastic fight, fantastic night, a great show. Uh, I want to ask you uh, a bit about your opponent uh, this weekend. You're fighting on Sky Sports for the um, uh, Con- Conor Ben, uh, Samuel Vargas on the cards. Uh, There's a great card on Sky Sports yeah. this Saturday. You're fighting Alexander uh, Espinosa uh, for the WBC silver title. Uh, do you know much about your opponent, and do you know what and how have you prepared for this fight? Yeah, we knew, we knew, we know, we know about him. You know, I mean, and we know what he's gonna bring to me. You know, send, uh, you know, 
I'm uh, mentally and physically ready, you know, and I've trained really extremely hard. I've had great sparring. You know, I mean, I've been down, I've been going traveling down. I've had great preparation for the center. We know he's going to bring it. He's got a style that he's going to bring it. So that's going to bring the best out of me in this fight. So, you know, it's going to be it's, it's going to be a good, good fight. And uh, I'm expecting a 10-round, um, you know, I mean, 10-round thing, you know, I mean, performance, a good performance off me. And uh, he's going he's, he's gonna, to he's gonna give me openings, you know, I mean, compared to my last opponent. And this will make me look good. And, They'll give me a lot of opportunities, obviously, to capitalize the, you know, I mean, the shorts. Yeah. You're in the bantamweight division where it's very stacked with some yeah. great domestic potential fights coming up for you and uh, many others. You got the likes of obviously yourself. Uh, you got yeah. Lee McGregor. You got Dennis McCann, uh, Khaled Ufai, uh, Liam Davis, and Paul Butler. Could you see there being a lot of uh, great clashes between you guys in the bantamweight division before? Moving on to World Honours. Yeah, 100% there is, you know what I mean, 100%. Obviously, at the top of the table at the moment is Paul Bull and Kelly Fai, the former world champions, you know what I mean, and, uh, you know, and obviously the top, they're probably the best, and obviously they're probably the best ones at the moment, you know what I mean, and uh, then you get me, likes of me, Liam Greg, and then you get the other crop, you know what I mean, who just box for area titles and obviously on working the way into the British titles. But yeah, it can, it can happen in the future, you know what I mean, more. You know, and uh, for me, I just, whoever's in front of me, that's what I'm going to, who I box. I don't care who it is, and that's what mindset is like. If they, whoever they put, my manager puts it from me, I'm going to box them. And that's that's the mindset I've got. Yeah, of course. Obviously, there's been talk of a potential fight with yourself and Dennis McCann in the future. Uh, how how would you be willing to take that opportunity one day if it comes against Dennis McCann? Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, I mean, he's a good fight, Dennis McCann. I've, I was sparring for him, obviously, that, that camp there, and you know, he's he's still he's still obviously working his way up and he's one for the future definitely, you know what I mean? Brilliant. I wanna ask you uh, a bit about uh one of your f- former foes, uh, Lee McGregor. Obviously yeah. you see he won the European title, uh, stopping the Gufari in the first round with a knockout. How did you rate his performance that night? Yeah, it was a good performance, you know. I mean he done he done what he had to do and you know, he got the job done early, you know, and uh, Kimo Kai never really, to be honest, never recovered from the body shot. You know what I mean? And uh, then obviously, then Lee came with the headshot at the end. You know what I mean? That's, that's stopped her. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, that was it. We were on a good performance, and that was it. Got the job done. Could, uh, could you see him, him maybe pushing on for World Honours anytime soon after that performance? Yeah, of course. Yeah, 100%. You know, it's just, it was a good, obviously, he'd be a good opponent. And, uh, you know, just depending on how his management team dumps, uh, does with him, you know what I mean? So it's always it's down to his management team, how they how, how quick they want to push him. I want to talk a bit about uh, recently news of uh, Amir Khan. He's going to be teaming up with WBC and making a uh, Middle East title belt uh, and um, bring it to boxing, basically. Yeah. Would you ever consider uh, maybe fighting for a belt like this, uh, WBC Middle Eastern title belt? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, any any we'll see any opportunity that comes up, you know, I'm willing to box anything. For me, it's not about the belts and anything like that. For me, it's about just going out and winning. I always say belts are just a bonus. Like even tomorrow, well, on for a Saturday night, when I'm gonna box for title, the title doesn't mean nothing to me. You know, I mean, it's just about winning and looking good and showcasing my skill. That's what it's about. To be honest, if I didn't, I'm not really worried about box and uh, boxing about belts. I'm just wanting to want to just win and progress, and be my game, get my self financial secure. So that's that. These are my aims in boxing. And boy, obviously the belts are just extra bonuses for me. I'm going to talk a bit about the, uh, the card you're going to be fighting on. It's, it's a fantastic card. You've yeah. got a world title fight on there. You've got a massive uh, great world weight fight between uh, Conor Ben and Samuel Vargas. Yeah. Uh, let's talk a bit about the main event first. Uh, Conor Ben, Samuel Vargas. How do you see this fight going? Uh, can you see it? Can, yeah, can you see it? Can... Yeah, sorry, yeah, I, can, I can see Conor Ben to be honest, stopping him. Maybe late, you know what I mean? And uh, I think I think Conor Ben is on is on his way up at the moment. You know what I mean? He's obviously he's progressed. Obviously since his uh, he's progressed obviously from uh, since his pro debut and he's making progression every fight. So his last fight was a great performance. I think this one I think he'll do the same. I think he might he might get late, maybe late stoppage. You know what I mean? No, might to be honest, he is tough. Uh, Samuel Vargas. You know what I mean? But I think I can see Conor McGregor. Um, sorry, uh, Conor Ben win convincingly. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant. I want to obviously ask you a bit about the the women's uh, world title fight. Uh, Shannon Courtney versus uh, Ebony Bridges. 
obviously Abra Bridges is coming over undefeated. Yeah. Uh, Shannon Courtney's uh, had one defeat against Rachel Ball. The winner's got a fat Rachel Ball. Yeah. How do you see this fight going? Uh, could, how do you see it? Do you see? Could you see? Can you see it go to the points? Could you see a baby and knockout? How do you see this fight ending up? To be honest, I've no, I've not really seen too much of Abra Bridges. I've seen, I've seen Shannon Courtney box uh, Rachel Ball, so I can't really comment on it. You know? I mean, I've not really seen Abra Bridges box, so. You know, it'll be a good fight. You know, I mean, I think there's a bit of needle between them two, so it'll be a good, good, it'll be a good, good fight. So be, I think uh, in paper it's a world title fight. So you know, they're always they're gonna they're gonna put their hand so into the fight, and uh, it'll be a good, good fight between them two. I. Brilliant. I wanna obviously uh, talk to you about about a few fights that maybe could be on the horizon. Uh, with yeah. me and my colleague Nando from Power for Power, we are asking a lot of uh, fighters this question. A potential fight between uh, Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua. Uh, who wins this fight for you, and why? I think uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Anthony Joshua. I'm, I'm a fan of his. I think uh, I don't know. I think he might have the style to beat Tyson Fury. You know, you know. But uh, don't get me wrong. Tyson Fury is awkward and he's big as well. So, but I just I just think in my mind, Anthony Joshua just got a style to beat him. You know, and obviously that heavyweight's one punch can change a fight. You know, and Joshua does have the power to do it. So I'm, well, I'm, I'm sticking with Anthony Joshua. Yeah, when it, when it does happen, you know. Yeah, fingers crossed it does actually get made, and we do get this fight because it's, it's a fantastic 100%. fight and a massive yeah, fight for Bruce. Yeah, hundred percent. It's a fight that needs to definitely happen this year. You know, I mean, even though it's by wherever it's behind closed door, maybe with fans, wherever, but I think it's a fight that needs to definitely happen this year because I think they can't even any longer. Yeah, of course. I mean, like I said, they're both at their, their peak of their powers now. Yeah. Uh, it's all the belts going to be online. There's no better time to do it now. Than, no, uh, so hopefully, hopefully Eddie and Frank and Bob can get this deal done and we can get this fight yeah. on. No, definitely. No, 100%. I want to ask you, uh, obviously, for yourself, what is the short-term and long-term goals for yourself? Well, obviously, my, my, my main goal in boxing, obviously... You want to keep progressing, you know. I mean, I take a fight at a time. That's the way my life's always been. And obviously, uh, I take my boxing career the same as that. I take a fight at a time. And, you know, I mean, even through my first amateur fight, I was like, let me take this fight. Then I took my next fight. The next night, then I had 49 amateur fights. Then I was like, let me just try to fight. Let me take a fight. Now I'm 15 fights in. This is next. This is just next. Tomorrow's about uh, well, Saturday night. It'll be the same thing. It's just a fight at a time for me. You know, and uh, let's, uh, let's see where God takes me. You know I mean? And uh, that's the way I think. But my long term goal is just to work. See how 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 high I can go in boxing and outside of boxing I want to be financial school. So the only way there's that is world level. You know what I mean? That's where you get financial really school. You know what I mean? And uh, you know if I if I can get something out, uh, make something out myself outside of well, if I get something in boxing, you know what I mean? And get myself financial school outside of boxing, I'm happy. You know what I mean? That's that's me basically done. You know what I mean? I'm really really I would be really happy if I'm, I do that. You know? Because uh, once you're tired, you've got life to live after boxing anyway. So I, yeah. I want to talk a bit about uh, a fighter recently just retired, uh, Carl Frampton. Uh, obviously, come up short uh, against his fight against uh, Jamal Heron to yeah. become a three weight uh, champion. Uh, how did you rate uh, Jamal Heron's performance and uh, how disappointed was you for Carl coming up short? Yeah, I was really disappointed. I thought Carl, I thought Carl, Carl Frampton maybe would have maybe, you know, put a better, no better performance. I thought, I thought you maybe would have maybe. Done a bit better, but I just think Carl Frampton maybe passed his uh, best. You know, what I mean, you know, Jermaine Hero was just a bit big as well, and he was sharp. You know, he caught Carl Frampton with a crack and show him. You know, what I mean, that obviously never to knock anybody out, but yeah, I just could tell Carl, Carl Frampton couldn't get his distance. You know, what I mean, he was, you know, he just kept the game caught short. So obviously, he wouldn't have done when he was, you know, when he was at his peak. You know, and uh, but yeah, I thought I thought I thought Jermaine Hill was gonna pull it off to be honest. I did think that, you know, I thought Carl Frampton's been past his prime, you know, in the last few fights. So yeah. I think his best teams are super band to me and uh, Luis Santa Cruz. Yeah. Whereas when he beats with Luis Santa Cruz, I Yeah, I fully agree. Uh, probably the best years have gone past him by. But yeah, uh, he dared to be great. He 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 he, he, he always give it his all throughout his career. Yeah, I mean, he gets... The team, to be cheap more than He's achieved, uh, you know, I mean, I'll, I'll get a two-time world champion. I think was he yeah, a three-time world, three, three-time to uh, two weights division champion. I mean, that's, you know, I mean, he's he's made plenty of money and he's, you know, I mean, he's he's gonna go, he's gonna be happy to retire. You know, I mean, you know, in a few years, obviously, maybe a few years down the line, maybe the cold of all the fame. So you know, he has made, 
he has done he has done a lot in boxing. Hundred percent, hundred percent. I want to ask you about one more fact before I, yeah. I let you go as well. It's a, a massive undisputed title fight as well between Josh Taylor and uh, Jose Ramirez uh, next month. How do you see this fight going, and, and who do you see coming up? Trumps. I'll be honest, with you, I think uh, Josh. I'll, I'll be honest, I think Josh Taylor's. Josh, I can see Josh Taylor winning. To be honest, you know, I don't, I don't know how he's gonna, but I think he'll win it. I think he'll get it down and win it. You know, and don't get me wrong, Gomez is a good, really, really good fighter. He's no, he's no one of these guys. You know, I mean, this is a champion, but he is one of them really, really good fighters as well. But I think Josh Taylor will pull out the bag in this fight. You know, I know Josh Taylor's going over there in his backyard, but I think Josh Taylor still, still go and then be him. You know, what I mean, but it's, I think it's, well, I don't know where this happened. Is it Las Vegas? Is it happening or Texas? You know, Las, Las Vegas, yeah. Yeah, last week. So, you know, but I think Hank, Hank, he'll, Hank, he'll beat Ramirez, to be honest. And I think he'll get really, I think he'll get his real hard fights at welterweight. I think he'll, he'll beat everybody I like welterweight. I think cause he'll get, you know I mean, the real test I like welterweight. You know what I mean? Yeah, 100%, 100%. Uh, Cash, before I let you go, uh, quick message for your fans and for your opponent, uh, Alexander, going into this fight. Yeah, I just want to say thank you to all my fans, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, uh, what do you call it, on Saturday night, and hopefully, what do you call that fingers crossed, I put on a good performance and showcase my skills, and, uh, you know, I don't know, I, to be honest, I don't know what to say about Pona. I'll see him on Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant, champ. Now, Cash, I wish you all the best for your fight on Saturday night, and uh, I'm sure we catch up soon. Right. Take care, my man, all right? Take care, bro. Take care, now. Take care, now. Bye-bye. Take care, bro.